Hey, what's up, Griddle Nation and my fellow Coast to Coast Griddlers? It's your boy, Griddle Richie, coming at you from the Quarantine Bar and Grill. And today, I'm gonna be making my version of the Will It Bandito challenge that CJ Frazier threw out to Griddle Nation. CJ, you threw it out there. Challenge has been accepted. I hope you guys like what I made. If you like this and you try it one day, it doesn't have to be during this challenge, but later on down the road, please tag me. I'd love to see what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comments whether you like this, whether you thought it's dumb or whatever. Also guys, I have a secret ingredient that nobody else has used. So if you use it after this video, I know you guys copied me because nobody else to this point has used this secret ingredient. So I'm gonna do this. Let's get to it. Let's see what I come up with. Um, hope you like it, CJ. Let's go. Let's fire up the griddle. So I'm keeping my ingredients really simple for this because I want everybody to be able to make this, want everybody to be able to enjoy this. Nothing crazy with this cook. It's just something that I think everybody will enjoy. Everybody will try it. Uh, so let's see what we're using here um, now that the griddle's heated up. So what I'm using for my Will It Bandito challenge is just some simple ground beef, an 80-20. I'm not gonna add any seasonings to this because the Fritos themselves have a lot of salt, so I don't wanna add any extra to that. That's up to you whether you wanna season your meat. I am gonna be adding other ingredients that will help with the flavoring. So you really don't need any seasonings with this. Okay guys, now that my meat is done, I'm gonna start slapping my meal all together. So obviously I have my Fritos and instead of opening these like this, I'm gonna cut them like this. You guys get the hint of what I'm making now? Cut your bag open so it forms a little scoop like this. Then you're gonna get your meat and you're simply gonna pour that in there. Pour your meat in, start layering this. The great thing about what I'm making is you can make this pretty much with anything. You can make it with carne asada. You can make it with chicken. You can make whatever. I use ground beef. Mix that in a little bit. I preheated some cheese Whiz, so that will be being used here in a minute. But I also made a little mix of some cilantro some tomatoes, some onions, and some green chilies. So I'm gonna throw this all together. It's almost like a little pico de gallo, I guess you can call that. And I'm gonna start throwing this into my Fritos here. Let me grab this so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And you're simply just gonna throw this in like so a nice little fecal mix there we go oh yes 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 i'm gonna have to give you guys a view of this look at that there guys now that you have that stir up your cheese let me move this out of the way so it doesn't fall then we're gonna stir up our cheese and we're gonna pour that right in. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. That looks so good right there. Let me see if I can get that on camera. There it is. And we're gonna throw in some barbecue sauce. I am using the Blazing Star Original Barbecue Sauce. You guys can use whatever sauce you want. That's just my preference for barbecue sauces. If you guys haven't checked them out, go to blazingstarbarbecue.com. Get a little bit of this in here. Heck yes. Pour as much or as little of that as you want. Let's show this off right here. Bam, there it is. So, the big reveal. What's my secret ingredient? Let me take these off right here because I know nobody else has done this yet. So, to top this off, we are whoop, whoop, reaching into the pockets and hitting you with that 
Taco Bell sauce. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did pull out the Taco Bell sauce because everybody knows CJ likes that Taco Bell sauce. So I'm just going to cut these open here. Oh, yes, and I'm going to pour a little bit like that. There we go. I got a little bit of Taco Bell sauce inside my walking nacho Frito Bandito. Always make sure you lick the pack to get that flavor in your mouth. <clears throat> and not just one, but two of these. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, that's disgusting, you're licking the pack. You don't know where that's been. Look at this, guys. Look at this. That is so good. The great thing about this, the walking Frito Bandito nachos, is I can take this inside. I'm done. I can watch the rest of you guys struggle, continue to think of, oh my gosh, what am I going to make? If I was at a football game, baseball game, the kids' softball game, the kids' football game, whatever I was at, a concert, and I was tailgating, I can make this, and I can walk while you guys are still on the grill. And I can just sit back and watch everybody else. So by the time you walk up to the arena, to the gates, you're done eating. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. This is my official entry to the Frito Bandito Challenge. Um, I'll come back, post a video of me eating this, but I need to take some pictures first. I'm back, I got my pictures. You guys will see those on my social media sites, on Facebook or on Instagram, at griddle underscore Richie. Bing. Don't forget, guys, also, you can use the hashtag Coast to Coast Griddlers. It's an awesome hashtag that a group of my friends and myself created. It's for anybody that cooks on a Blackstone. Doesn't matter if you're on the East Coast, West Coast, North, or South. As long as you have a Blackstone and you love cooking, we'll love to see you use that hashtag. Enough talk. Let's give this a mix. Let's give this a try. As Todd would say, if it was a pizza, El Presidente will say, you know the rules, one bite. But I'm not El Presidente, now am I? Nice mix here. Let me show that off a little bit. Mmm. I don't even know I need to do more talking because this is banging right here. I know it's not the best entry, it's not the most creative, but what it is creative is this is the walking bandito. And if you know what a bandito is, I just walked off. <laughs>